All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today, I wanted to talk about really nothing specific, maybe just a couple of things. Uh, I know I haven't been as active on the podcast. Um, obviously, it's it's something that, uh, that I do want to keep doing. But as you guys know, especially if you train dogs, if you got a lot going on, Sometimes that can be a little bit uh, a little bit challenging to find the time. But no excuses. Let's do an episode right now and let's bring some value. One of the things that I noticed um, about my content, okay, my content does tend to, um, a lot of people relate to my content. A lot of people uh, resonate with, with the posts that I put on Dog Training is My Passion <clears throat> whether it's you know the videos or even the humor the memes uh, people people like that a lot of people find this stuff very relatable and because my content does reach a lot of people some of my posts i mean in, in days reach over a hundred thousand people um i have some content that in like a week reach like over um like over a million people and they're just, you know, they're funny things that a lot of people find uh, relatable. But because the content reaches a lot of people, it also means it's going to reach some people that don't relate to the content, that don't find it funny, that think the content is just trash. Obviously, they have their perception. Everybody is entitled to their perception. Uh, that's just how it is. That's human nature. We can't all like the same things. We can't all see uh, the same thing from the same perspective. And so when, when that happens, there are people that will be very comfortable commenting in a very rude, rude manner. Right? We call these people trolls. And I've noticed you know, just by talking to uh, dog trainers and people that send me messages, uh, sometimes people truly believe that when you put content out there, that all you're going to get is trolls. And that's not the case. Now, I capitalize on it. I take advantage of it. When uh, you know, when I put a, uh, some content out there, whether it's a video, a picture, something funny, and, you know, like... A hundred thousand people like it, you know. A lot of people share it. Uh, I get a, a, a lot of good reactions. Maybe you know, out of those hundred thousand, there might be like a small handful of people that don't like it. And I I know there are dog trainers that are afraid to put themselves out there because they're afraid of those handful of people. Or they don't want to deal with those handful of people. There's a dog trainer trainer on Instagram that that uh, uh, you know he follows me. He he's been training dogs for a very long time apparently, and he's you know he's commented on some of my posts because I I post if you follow my social media you know I do this when when people troll my accounts um, I just have a blast with them I. I genuinely just have fun with them i play with them i toy with them a little bit to ruin their day plus it gives me expo it gives me more content it gives me more traffic because the way i look at it is if you if you're going to be that rude um and just that calloused to to make it to make your comments very personal aimed at me because you're trying to hurt my feelings because you didn't like that I put a post and now you're trying to cyber bully me. You know, it's it doesn't one, it doesn't work. I don't get my feelings hurt by 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 a person that I don't know. <clears throat> right? And um especially if these people are, are nobodies, which that's how it always is. Th these are nobodies, people that don't really um they're they're not really doing much or anything. So when these people do that, I, I'm going to toy with them. I'm not all the time because I'm not going to spend an entire day um, talking to these people. But I will toy with them and I will screenshot their responses, my responses. Not just have fun with it. It's just fun to uh, to mess with these people. So I post that as, com you know, as content also. 
And um, and I got you know people, and and this is one of the trends I was just telling you about. You know, he he tells me he's commented and he said, you know, this is why I want to leave the industry. This is why I can't do this anymore. And it's I don't want to tell him or anybody what to do or how to respond to to uh, criticism like this, but I'm telling you, you should not give control of your actions you should not give that control to somebody else okay if you're thinking i think i want to post this and i feel uh, very happy with this maybe training video with this training session or i feel like i should say this because i want to express how i feel about this you can't not do it because you are concerned with what the critics are going to say. It's it's a terrible mistake, in my opinion, to one, not post content because of that. And two, make a rash decision like, I don't even want to train dogs because of that. Okay? Again, it's just my opinion. I don't feel like we should give that amount of control to somebody that you don't know or doesn't know you or even if you do know them somebody that's just going to talk shit okay remember even if they talk shit about you even if they commented on your post something terrible even if they reshare your content and and you know and said to all their friends all their followers this person is a piece of shit whatever right even if they if they badmouth you you have to remember what's what's the big deal with it it's just social media right so when you see somebody commenting or somebody talking about you on social media these are just characters on a screen okay these are just this is just code on a screen it's just a bunch of digits and numbers and and letters on a screen that's all that is so to get upset over that that can be a problem and yes it is weird okay it, it used to upset the crap out of me when somebody would say something like that um and even now you know occasionally i'll, I'll see that those comments and I'll get like a brief moment of, ooh, why why did he say that? Why did she say that? All right. Sometimes I do get those. It, it it's hard not to absorb the negative energy that somebody threw out there and and you see that and instantly feel like, oh my th- this person had the intent to uh you know to harm in some sort of manner. Okay, whether it's that psychological harm uh, they're trying to hurt your feelings, or they're trying to just dig at you. They're trying to poke fun of you, right? You can feel their intent, but you don't have to let that soak in with you. You don't have to soak in in that. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to dwell on that. So that's my advice to 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 uh, people, to dog trainers. Just throw yourself out there. Who cares? And another thing that I that I have gotten people tell me about is, you know, I have written four books. I've got another book right now uh, currently in review uh, with editors, and I've got more that I'm writing. Right, I got four books out. I'm writing one right now, and then I got another one that is already in review. And I get people that that tell me, "Oh man, I can't believe you've written this. You know, four books. That's crazy." Um, you know, people definitely see that like it's very difficult. It really isn't. And um, and people will go, man, I, I don't know if I could throw myself out there. And I had the same fear, right? Just throwing yourself out there can be very difficult because the moment you put something out there, whether it's an article, a post, uh, whether it's you know, something more formal like a book, you know, maybe a blog, a video, Putting yourself out there does have does carry the risk of 
somebody criticizing you and telling you you're doing that wrong. But who cares? It doesn't matter. And and if you don't do the thing that you had the impulse to do, and you're like, I feel like making this video. I feel like making this post. This would be a funny post. This would be a very interesting post that I feel like sharing. If that's your, your original intent, your original impulse, but then you get that voice that tells you, but the critics, hey, you know, what are people going to think? You know, what is this person going to say when you post that? If that is what stops you, you've got to overcome that. Okay? I truly, I'm at a place where it is more important to me what I think of me, what I think of my content, than what somebody might think about my content. I already know that not everybody is going to like what I have to put out there. Okay, I'm not afraid of the bad reviews. I'm not afraid of the of the 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 bad reviews on the books. Okay? Like somebody put uh, a while ago somebody I uh, that I'm friends with on Facebook uh, posted one of my books and they were like, oh, this book is great. And then some people were commenting on that. And they were like, oh, yeah, that seems like a great book. I want to buy it. Then one person said, eh, I wasn't really impressed. This book was really disappointing. <clears throat> and, um, you know, and who cares? That person has every right to feel that way because I can't expect everything that, that gets thrown out there to be loved by every single person. There are bound to be certain individuals that will not like your content, and that's perfectly fine. You're not doing it for those handful of people. All right, you're doing it for the people that resonate with you. And there are people out there that resonate with you. There are people that want to see your content. There are people, there's somebody out there right now who doesn't know you. There's somebody out there right now who doesn't know you. There's a dog owner out there or a dog trainer out there who doesn't know you, who is anxiously waiting for somebody like you, who's anxiously waiting. They don't know it yet, but they're waiting, okay? They're waiting for somebody to explain something the way only you can explain it and to... And, and and there's not only one of those people. There's several of these people. And to not put yourself out there for fear of what the critics will say, you're not helping yourself and you're not helping that person that is out there waiting for somebody to explain a concept that you can explain in a certain way that that person can resonate with. So you have to do it for them. Don't do it for the people that are not going to like it. Think about it. If, if, I, if I'm thinking about a great piece of content and I want to throw it out there because I think it's going to be helpful and, and a handful of people or a bunch of people are going to like it, I'm going to find very useful. But the thing that tells that stops me from doing it is my fear of the critics that I'm, I'm doing something very unethical. I'm doing something very selfish. Okay? This is now an ethical matter. If I have a great idea, great content that could benefit somebody, could benefit the relationship with somebody's, you know, with, with their dog, that can benefit somebody in general. If I have that information, and the reason I don't throw it out there is because I'm afraid that somebody might make fun of me, that is an ethical and moral issue. Because I'm letting my little selfish fear stop me from bringing tremendous value to somebody who desperately needs needs that piece of information okay now you're talking about moral ethical issues that's the way i look at it so to me it's my responsibility if i have something to say like right now this this podcast it's a good example Okay, I know there are people who don't like my podcast. And I know some of these people have listened to it, have decided they don't like it, and decided to talk about it to their to their peers and their friends and go, don't listen to that podcast. He's a jerk. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't care because it's not for them. 
this is for you, for the one person listening who is thinking, wow, th I needed to hear this. And I know this because I get messages. Okay, I get random messages that, you know, people will tell me this happens on a continuous basis. And if you if you run a podcast, you probably have the same experience. You get messages from people that tell you, hey, man, that episode you did where you talked about this, and that was awesome. I needed to hear that. Okay? If I cast this net and, and I only get one person that really, really could, could find this episode useful, then this episode was worth it. Then me doing it, and even if there's like 50, 50 people that didn't like it, 50 people that thought this was garbage, bullshit, and, and I don't know what I'm talking about, and, I, and, I, and you should stay away from me for whatever reason. I don't care if there's 50 people think that, but if one of you, one person was like, wow, did I need it to hear that? I, I, I needed to hear that me not putting myself out there is a moral issue. It's not just about me anymore. Now I am preventing somebody from learning because I'm afraid of what somebody might say. And now it's a moral issue. Because one of you needed to hear that, to me, it's worth it. And, and I'm okay with 50 people not liking it. So uh, sometimes people, you know, will say, "Oh, I mean, you, you, uh, you know, you get all these." Cra a lot of people, not a lot, but some people will sometimes will comment on my on my post when I talk about these, you know, these trolls. When I make fun of these trolls, people will go, "Oh, you know, you're like, uh, why do these people just keep coming to you? What, you know, why do you seem to you seem to attract these people? I don't attract them. I actually attract more support than I attract trolls." OK, I don't I don't uh, I don't align myself with that frequency of, oh, my God, I'm afraid and and, I, and people are going to hate me. I don't. I only get a handful of those people. The majority of the of the followers, the majority of the people that interact with my posts are supporters. Majority of people like my content. So I don't attract these people. Uh, it's not like these people keep coming to me. It's just that when they do. When they do show up, I make an example out of them. Because the way I look at it too is, if you don't give a fuck about my feelings and you're trying to hurt my feelings, it won't happen because right? I, I don't care what you think. But if you don't give a fuck about my feelings and, and you, know, you, you, are, you're, you're, you're try, you have the intent to, to be uh, mean then I will have a fucking field day with you. I will hurt your feelings. And I will put it on display because that gives me content. Right? Because, you know, I, I'm not all I'm not all super nice, like, oh, you know, I, I just love everybody. No. No, no, no. I'm I'm not like that. Um I'm 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 fair. Just like I think the majority of people are. I'm fair. But I'm not the the uh the oh yeah, it's okay. Just, you know, let it go and and, uh, you know, rise above and be the bigger person. Now, sometimes it feels fucking good to to say, no, fuck you. I'm not going to be the bigger person. Okay? So, um, yeah, the, the, the occasional troll here and there, yeah, sometimes I feel like having fun and I'm going to blast them. And I'm okay with that. All right? So, um, it, it's just one of those things. And, and I've also gotten people that say, oh, you know, I don't think you're doing that right. That's not the right strategy. Um, you know, I think it's wrong that you're doing that. It, it's, you know, it, it's, you're not getting the point across that, that you think you're getting across. Uh, I don't, I don't think you should do that because it, it shows that, you know, whatever, whatever they think. And I'm very, you know, they're very respectful with their constructive criticism. So I'm respectful back to them. And my response to them is this, that's how you would handle it. And that's perfectly fine. And that's perfectly fine, you know. And what I do is I go every now and then. I don't do it all the fucking time. That would be exhausting. If I if I were to highlight every troll, it would be exhausting. I wouldn't have a life. That would be like a full-time job. But every once in a while, I find a comment amusing. I kind of go back and forth with them. And then I make a post out of it. So doing that occasionally, uh, to me, it's harmless, Okay. 
again, that that's my opinion. That's how I handle it. It's not a big deal to me. Um, but some people are definitely more of the be be the bigger person and don't you know don't give these people the time of day, and that is perfectly fine too. That's definitely another way to handle it. Um, so, yeah. But in general, I think the the theme of this episode has probably been that because it's something that I've noticed people have been uh, mentioning in. They've, they've been mentioning this um, th- this sort of idea that oh man, I don't know how you do that or you know you get you get so many trolls or uh, you know you shouldn't waste your time on these trolls and uh and it basically revolves around the um the you know putting yourself out there how to handle people that don't like your content and what i want to tell you is you know handle it whichever way it works for you but also the main thing the main message here is put yourself out there put that put that phone in front of you okay say whatever you have to say make that long post do put that unpopular opinion. Do make that training video because there is somebody out there that A, could benefit from you or B, maybe there is somebody out there who could help you. Okay? So don't be concerned about what the critics are going to say because that now becomes a moral issue. You're letting them prevent you from sharing your light with people who need it all right so i just wanted to pretty much go over that end it on that one you guys have a good one and i will see you on the next episode